I thought I'd take a few minutes today to make a video uh, showing how to do a mode 6 scan uh, using Forescan, which is a program specifically for Ford, um, Lincoln, Mercury, or Mazda vehicles. So uh, it's handy using it for diagnostics. What I'm using is a uh, ELM 327 device. This one has an M speed or uh, basically it's a medium speed, high speed switch. Uh, these are roughly $25, I believe, on Amazon. I'll put a link. The ones without the switches um, look like this, and they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, I've had this one for a few years. This is what I started off with. It's great, but it doesn't allow you to get into any medium speed function, so you're going to have more modules available with this. Uh, second, it's not going to allow you to get into the PAT system or turn on and off uh, options and accessories so this is well worth the price i'll put a link um for this i purchased it on amazon like i said i believe it was maybe 25 dollars uh, from whatever call but uh let's get into it basically once you download and open up Forescan, or if you already have it you open it up this is what it's going to look like get the newest uh update and plug in your elm 327 device so for me i'm going to plug it underneath into my obd port uh, which is right there. You see the red light. Plug this in into my laptop. I I use a laptop. They make Bluetooth versions, but uh, for me, oops, that was my HDMI port. Sorry, um, but for me, I, I just prefer a laptop and good old USB. I don't need any disconnects if I'm trying to write any procedures. So um, I'm going to turn the key to turn the ignition on and connect. I won't show you how to use Forescan. There's a lot of great tutorials out there on it. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do the mode 6 scan. So once you connect the ELM device, it's going to ask you for the key on. And to make sure this is in the HS position, so mine is. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go through and connect to the uh, modules. It'll take just a moment. The next thing that's going to pop up is it's going to ask me if this ELM327 adapter has an HS MS CAN switch. Mine does. So I'm going to select yes. Now I'm going to switch it over to the... MS or medium speed position, I'm going to hit OK, and now it's going to find additional modules. My radio here in a second is going to show that it's in MS CAN diagnostics mode, and it's connected to the tester. I'm going to come back over here. I don't say the profile for my vehicle. You're more than welcome to. I don't. So I hit no. And now what I'm going to do is come over here to this clipboard, which is vehicle test once I click on that, for me, I'm going to come down right over here to the OBD2 Mode 6 test. Click on that and hit the little play button down below. And then it's asking me to make sure that my switch is in the HS CAN position. So I had just switched it to MS. Now I'm going to switch it back to HS. And if you have a regular ELM327 device, then you don't have to touch a thing. And then I'm going to select OK. And now it's going through misfire monitoring, fuel system etc and I come over here and it's now showing me um, oxygen sensors etc nothing is highlighted now I want to come over here to the cylinder so for the last 10 driving cycles I've had um, basically through cylinder 1 to 8 zero misfires so looking at this I was able to then um, start looking at hoses and that's where I found uh, a hose that had just popped off and I popped it back on and, and my idling smoothed right out so um this comes in very handy for those of you with coil pack issues this is going to help you um locate those misfires so i hope this uh tutorial helps i hope this helps some of you chasing down misfires to figure out which cylinder or which coil pack is causing it uh, until next time thanks